Welcome to Atlantic International University's 2020 graduation. My name is Dr. Jack Rosenzweig and I am the Dean of Academic Affairs for AIU. You have proved to be a resilient group of students and now you will become AIU graduates and alumni. Although we are suffering from a global pandemic, you strived and achieved your goals here at AIU. Many universities right now are switching to an online modality, but AIU has always been a visionary in these type of things. And we've always had an andragogic approach to education. So although all these other universities are now switching, we have given you the tools to achieve your goals. Now that you've achieved your goals, it's not the time to stop. What this pandemic has taught us is every day is not certain. Becoming an alumni at AIU is not the end of the journey, but the beginning. Because now you will help AIU reach the 2030 UNESCO goals. I want you to go and help your society, your countries, your cities, your families. Although we're not physically together, I want you to go back to AIU's website and look at this video, look at everybody that's graduating, seeing this group of students and alumni that have achieved their goals. It's not just one country, it's not just two countries, it's 68 countries that are represented today in this 2020 graduation with people that want to succeed. So even with this global pandemic, always strive for the future. Now I'm going to name all 68 countries and although you're at home watching this, I want you to stand up, cheer yourselves because I'm sure you're with your family looking at, the, at this video. I want you to cheer the country that I name and be happy that you are here today in this graduation. Now let me start with the countries. Angola, Argentina, Australia, Bahamas, Bolivia, Burundi, Cameroon, Cayman Islands, Central African Republic, Colombia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Gambia, Germany, Ghana, Guatemala, Guinea, Haiti, Honduras, Italy, Iraq, Ireland, Jamaica, Kenya, Republic of Korea, Kuwait, Lesotho, Liberia, Libya, Malawi, Malaysia, Mexico, Mozambique, Myanmar, Namibia, Nigeria, Pakistan, Palestine, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Russian Federation, Rwanda, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Singapore, South Africa, South Sudan, Sudan, Suriname, Swaziland, United Republic of Tanzania, Timor Leste, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda, United States, Uruguay, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Applaud all your fellow alumni from these different countries. Congratulations on being here in this 2020 AIU graduation.
Now please rise for the national anthem of the United States of America and God Bless America, sung by Ariel Rose. Stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans. With foam, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet. The entire EIU family is very proud of the graduating class of 2020. Behind the scenes, there are many people that work hard for you to achieve your goals. Being that we're online, you sometimes don't see these people. We wanna show you the faces behind the scenes.
Now it's a pleasure and an honor to present today's first speaker. Our first speaker would have preferred to be introduced in the simplest manner because of his passion and practice of humility. Still, he is a man of true educational professionalism. He has done educational work in virtually every level of education. He is a graduate of several high-ranked universities in the United States, like to mention only two examples, Nova Southeastern University, where he obtained his doctorate degree in instructional technology and distance education, and the University of Miami that awarded him a master's degree in English learning processes. Dr. Valston always graduated with a rare GPA near 4.0, which by itself is quite impressive. He multifaceted experience also indicates the most institutions would like to have him on the board. Only three decades with Miami-Dade Public Schools as a teacher, a counselor, a linguist, and a digital expert, he also taught at Miami-Dade College, Broward College, and worked for Schwab Investigations. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Dr. Franklin Balson, Academic Dean and President of AIU. Dear graduating class of 2020, I feel quite happy for you and I highly commend all of you, your families and close friends, for having believed that you could do it. It is indeed a moment of joy, celebrations, dancing, etc. Enjoy this moment to the fullest extent. Congratulations again. But allow me to give you a two-pronged advice. I promise I will not spoil your celebrations. Just remain on your guard against two major mistakes. Number one, consider the degrees about to be conferred upon you as only a small step toward your goal. It is a major accomplishment, don't get me wrong about it, yet it is just not the end by itself and will yield only what you yourselves will make out of it. I once heard a graduate yell, I can't believe I'm graduating. Wrong thinking. No, you cannot be accidents, dear graduates. Without getting here into the world of spirituality, trust that you all were born to see this day, particularly to be these unique and unrepeatable graduates from the AIU Special Class of 2020. Don't even think of graduates from, for instance, the Ivy League schools or similar universities in the United States. But listen to this. You are not, nor do you need to be from these institutions. The individuals inside you are unique. And trust me on that, you have absolutely nothing to envy from anyone else in the world. So on that first challenge, simply keep working hard to polish every side of you, make it better every day and reach that best of you that no one else will ever be able to compete with. You are very special people. Now let me tackle public enemy number two, the combination of rage, envy, jealousy, and hatred of others. Oh yes, that one will shatter your lives if given any chance. There is no doubt that hundreds don't like it where you stand at this moment. They didn't expect you to graduate. And worse, they have begun to panic on the silly assumption that you threaten their jobs, positions, popularity, or anything else of the same line of thought. But please, don't be afraid, don't be scared, and don't you never ever run away from that unique and unrepeatable you about to reach that major milestone of your lives and consequently with that readiness mindset to fly to the highest heights when you persevere and keep looking every instant for the best. Always be anointed and inspired to chase all kind of evil spirit and negativity away from you. Theories about class superiority are insane propaganda, beloved graduates. Look, your degree is and shall be used as a reliable tool to engineer other wonderful steps of your lifetime. Can I tell you how to proceed? 
The answer is no, because each one of you must have a unique strategy to build your response in your own positive and dynamic way. With the certainty that you've got to succeed, you will pass the test of life graduates, not because you will imitate Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, etc. No, don't copy them. They are in no way better than you are. Just be you, and only you. Go 100% for what you want to do with your own talents, aptitudes, skills, and potential. In 2020, at a time when pioneers of distance education, like Atlantic International University, have exemplified for everyone that the beauties of life are made for all. As AIU graduates, you must now be confident that the so-called minorities, whether they are Asians, Hispanics, Africans, Blacks, Indians, etc., they too deserve to enjoy all the amenities of our existence on this earth. Keep this truth solidly stuck into your minds, dear AIU graduating class of 2020. To always remember, all human lives are important, regardless. All must be able to freely enjoy life, and you are on the right track to help make it happen. Again, congratulations, and may God bless each and every one of you abundantly. Thank you. It is now my great honor to present our second speaker, Dr. Scott Wilson. Dr. Scott Wilson is an academic advisor here at AIU. He has been here since 2011. Dr. Scott Wilson enjoys working with our students very much, and he especially enjoys working with students on final projects. In addition to AIU, Dr. Wilson is an online college professor at eight other universities. He has instructed over 300 online classes in the fields of U.S. government and international relations. Dr. Wilson received his bachelor's in marketing and master's in political science from West Virginia University. He studied political psychology at The Ohio State University and Russian language at Moscow State University. He completed his PhD coursework at Louisiana State University, but most importantly, he completed his PhD here at AIU. So today, I want to present one of your fellow alumni, Dr. Scott Wilson. Hello, graduates. Congratulations on your graduation. My name is Scott Wilson, and I'm an advisor here at Atlantic International University. And it's a real pleasure, it's a real honor to be here with you on your special day. Graduates, welcome to your graduation. We know that you have sacrificed a lot in order to get here today. You've had to simultaneously balance your studies with your family, your work, your personal life. You've had to give up some of your own free time on the weekends and the evenings in order to make your commitment in order to graduate. In short, you've really had to invest a whole lot in order to get here today. We recognize that. Graduates, today is your special day and we are here to celebrate you. You know, graduates, today we have over uh, 68 different countries represented this graduation. That's amazing. When we have our live graduation ceremonies in Mi Miami, one of the nicest things about having people from so many different countries is that we not only get to meet our graduates, but we get to meet their families as well. And let me tell you, no matter where our graduates are from, one thing is consistent from graduate to graduate. Each one has a family support system that encourages them and motivates them and pushes them to do their very best. Our spouses motivate us. We really work hard so we can provide for our children. Our parents motivate us. So graduates, make sure today, when you're celebrating, please, Give a special big thank you to your family for all the help that they did 
in order for you to be here today. Graduates, on behalf of Dr. Mercado, Dr. Valson, Provost Gonzalez, Dr. Jack, all AIU administration, faculty, staff, and advisors, congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you. Graduates, welcome to the AIU family. God bless you. As this is AIU's first online graduation, we asked all the graduates to send testimonials of their experience at AIU. We received an overwhelming response. Here are some of the best sound bites that we received from you, our graduates. Um, I felt that all staff members involved went out of their ways to make sure I was giving the time, attention, and advice I needed. Um, I'm going to take with me for life AIU's adopted motto, education is a human right. I finally found such a university program that allowed me to keep my job during the day and to study at night so I can kind of supplement what I'm doing, working on day to day uh, in the educational field. In fact, this level of flexibility offered by AIU has made my study journey interesting yet challenging at the same time as I've worked hard to manage my time and take responsibilities to successfully do my assignments and studies. Of course, taking into consideration in this regard the level of difficulty in distance learning comparing to traditional learning setting. I would like to thank all AIU staff for being supportive and available for us. I also appreciate the efforts done to, uh, to continue with this ceremony and make it possible for us all together, despite of, despite of the difficulties in this world and the current situation. But we all hope that tomorrow will be a better day for our planet and for our world. Thank you very much. El modelo educativo andragógico de IU me ha permitido realizar una retrospectiva de mi vida profesional y así desarrollar un pensum totalmente acorde a mis expectativas profesionales, rompiendo paradigmas en la comunicación con las nuevas tecnologías de la información. Vengo de un país en donde se carece de ética profesional, donde se carece de responsabilidad social. No existe la, la, el, inculcan, el inculcamiento de los derechos humanos y la, el reto que tengo es poder aplicar eso desde mi trabajo y con ello poder contribuir y engrandecer a mi país y por ende poner en alto a, a IAU. IAU really and truly has helped me a lot to gain self-confidence. It helped me to be self-motivated. Honestly, I had given up on studying until I was online one day and I saw AIU. So to everyone who are thinking about studying, AIU is the place to be. AIU is the place to study, the school to study with. Saludos, les habla el Dr. Mario Ríos desde Puerto Rico. Soy egresado del programa de doctorado en educación de Atlantic International University y quiero que sepan que ha sido la mejor opción que pude haber tomado como estudiante. Atlantic International tiene una visión andragógica única en su clase. Me permitió y le permite a todo estudiante que la escoja como institución crear su propio programa. Quiero darle las gracias a Atlantic International por haber caminado conmigo hacia el éxito. Hoy la universidad me provee una serie de herramientas esenciales para hacer mejor mi trabajo. Su sistema andragógico me han dado la posibilidad de crecer desde su flexibilidad de horarios hasta mostrarme la más grande plataforma electrónica para adquirir los conocimientos. Quiero destacar fundamentalmente el enfoque en enseñanza de adultos que siempre ha tenido la universidad. 
y además el hecho de que tanto tutors como advisors estuvieron siempre acompañándome, dándome su feedback cada vez que enviaba trabajos. I have accomplished one of the great milestone in my life. This is the major step in the journey of my life. It is not only the act of personal commitment, but also the harvest of hard work. Doctorate degree is a wonderful tool to open many doors of opportunity. It has been a journey that started with tentative steps, perhaps, but one that has taken me to a remarkable height. I was overwhelmed when I got the email to say that I was accepted at AIU. It is a dream come true to actually study online at my own convenience. AIU offered me that opportunity. I am grateful that I studied at AIU. I was granted a scholarship to offset some of my tuition expenses and without AIU that wouldn't have been possible. The time at AIU was overwhelming. I got extraordinary supports from all the staff at AIU. My tutors, my advisors, they were exceptional. There wasn't any problem that I had that they didn't assist me with and I am grateful for that. AIU was there every step of the way during, during the initial process and even at the end. It's overwhelming. I didn't think I would have gotten such support from an international, an international university for a student like me here in Jamaica. I would, without any shadow of doubt, I would definitely tell my friends and family to study at AIU. They will not regret it and it is a good institution and it does a lot in terms of ensuring that each student actually learn and do their best. I have intentions of doing my master's degree and I will definitely choose AIU. Thank you, AIU. Here's a special surprise message from a former president for you, our graduates. ¿Qué tal, queridos alumnos de la prestigiada Universidad Atlantic International University? Se han graduado ustedes en una de las mejores universidades y lo han hecho en diversos países del mundo, más de 187. Qué orgullo y qué grandes conocimientos han adquirido. Hay una sola manera de cambiar una nación en una generación y es precisamente a través de educación. Es estudiando, es aprendiendo, es teniendo conocimientos como se logra ser un líder auténtico y respetado. Pero ese liderazgo también hay que descubrirlo dentro de nosotros, ese almighty power que tenemos adentro de nosotros, que es el liderazgo, una vez que lo descubrimos no tienes límite, puedes llegar tan lejos como te lo propongas. Así que te felicito, seguramente vas a tener una vida llena de éxitos y a la universidad, por lo mismo, mis felicitaciones. Continúen adelante para construir un mundo mejor. Gracias. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas. Although you're at home, please cheer loudly for every one of the graduates. Ribdi N. R. M. Alsadi, Postdoctorate of Business Administration, Kuwait. Jose Manuel Elijah Guamba. Postdoctorate of Economics, Environmental Economics, Mozambique. (laughs) 
Ang Lee, Postdoctorate of Education, Myanmar. Gozi Patience Nwozu, Postdoctorate of Education, Sociology of Education, Nigeria. Miguel Domingos Jr., Postdoctorate, Human Studies, Angola. Adolfo Adriano Moholove, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Management, Mozambique. <laughs> Alaku Anthony Nana, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Economics and Public Policy, Nigeria. David Siddiqui Yambasu, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Management, Sierra Leone. Kogo Manase, Doctor of Business Administration, Sudan. Kundan Kumar, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Information Technology, Rwanda. Soneni Masangera, Doctor of Business Management, Zimbabwe. Jayasekar Mari Amalorpam Shalathurai, Doctor of Science, Chemical Engineering, Cum Laude, India. <laughs> David Lomboto Bosilaito, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Education, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Yvesemen Michael Obekeil Ogochupu, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Human Resources Management, Nigeria. <laughs> Julian Swana Tancha, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Management, Ireland. Oristela Anabel Ureta Serrano, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Apply Linguistics for Language Teaching, Panama. Margarita Maria Villegas Vidal, Doctor of Business Administration, Colombia. Grace Gom Mesame, Doctor of Business Administration, Cameroon. Charles Parugare, Doctor of Business Administration, Uganda. George Ya Signitome, Doctor of Public Health, Community Public Health, Ghana. Rosario Sebastiao Correa, Doctor of Science, Computer Science, Angola. Henry K. 
Castro, Doctor of Education, Guatemala. Josefa Gonzalez Gomez, Doctor of Education, Educational Administration and Management, United States. Kiriko Patricia Orunwo, Doctor of Education, Educational Psychology, Nigeria. Florent Bertrand Zane, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, English Literature, Central African Republic. Marco Antonio Guerrero Iza, Doctor of Environmental Science, Bolivia. Sierra Lubna Shaper, Doctor of Arts, Fine Arts, Pakistan. Mamadi Kaba, Doctor of Governance, Management, Guinea. <music> Custodio Fabio Zadamela, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Human Resources Management, Mozambique. Honey Catherine Salarda Sobrevega, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Leadership and Management, Philippines. Mike I. Iniedu, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Management, Nigeria. Yael Yarimi Kishenberg, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Journalism, United States. Bodai Abdullahi Sese, Doctor of Science, Nutrition, Sierra Leone. Dorehamne Yeng, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Political Science, Senegal. Good luck, A. Enima Pokpo, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Management, Nigeria. Ejanuba Uchechuku Sixtus, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health, Nigeria. <laughs> Mixila Villarreal Caballero, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Corporate Public Relations, Panama. Jaime Eduardo Reyes Martinez, Doctor of Regional Development, Colombia. <music> Lawford Talusa Luis Palani, Doctor of Science, Regional Development, Malawi. Gong Jia Di Rafael, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Theology, Kenya. Brooks 
Gibbs, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Sociology, United States. Marard Mwapwana Maguru, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Urban Planning and Design, Rwanda. Ramon Antonio Fania Suarez, Doctor of Electoral Justice, Ethics and Political Parties, Dominican Republic. Otwu Okafor, Doctor of Legal Studies, Nigeria. Jacqueline Cox Taylor, Doctor of Education, Special Education, Australia. Mabel Catherine Dominguez Quisiel, Doctor of Science, Psychology, Uruguay. Yubong Enuso, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, International Relations, Nigeria. Ricardo Antonio Silva Hernandez, Doctor of Project Management, Guatemala. Valere Samuel Olgide, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health, Nigeria. Lucian P. Hodge, Doctor of Science, Electrical Engineering, St. Kitts and Nevis. Marcela Elvira Enjaman, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Linguistics, Argentina. Francisco Sanchez Rodriguez, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Anglo American Legal System, Puerto Rico. Jose Filomeno da Fonseca, Doctor of Political Science, South Africa. Byron Daniel Hernandez Pichia, Doctor of Auditing, Guatemala. Herbert Augusto Barco Paima, Doctor of Science, Psychology, Peru. Yemi Andrea Gutierrez Vargas, Doctor of Supply Chain Management, Logistics and International Trade, Colombia. Kuru Sesazi Alfred, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Computer Science, Rwanda. <music> Ibrahim A. M. Shalash, Doctor of Science, Environmental Science, Palestine. Ruth P. Lamug, Doctor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude, Philippines. Mm 
Hassan Elsan Mansarai, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, International Management, Sierra Leone. Stefania Allegra, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Management, Education, and Business Management, Italy. Agavala Ebi Hiller, Doctor of Human Resources, Human Resources Management, Nigeria. Roberto Guayil Noriega Tirado, Doctor of Business Administration, Peru. <laughs> Ana Josefa Fajardo Concepcion, Doctor of Education, Education Administration and Management, United States. Torino Adriano, Doctor of Financial Management, Cost Allocation Model, Mozambique. Clara Nubia Rolón Rodríguez, Doctor of Public Health, Epidemiology, Cum Laude, Colombia. Mario Cesar Rios Escobar, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Education, United States. <music> Marina Aybar Gomez, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Social Communication, Dominican Republic. Sera Jacob Anzaku, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Human Resources, Nigeria. <music> Sheila Montes Peña, Doctor of Education, Educational Administration, Puerto Rico. Albina Dias Pianar, Doctor of Business Administration, Namibia. Anita Clavijo Andrade, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Hospitality Management, Ecuador. Shema Pierre, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Legal Studies, Rwanda. Koforola Ambimbola Popula, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Civil Engineering, Nigeria. Jose Bilchor da Silva, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health, Angola. Hagasintebe Leonard, Doctor of Business Administration, Rwanda. In Dajijimana Ibrahim, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Governance and Leadership, Rwanda. Silverio Britos Nunez, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Psychotherapy, Paraguay.
Akane Manketse Makume, Doctor of Strategic Planning and Management, Lesotho. Ricardo Alexander Taylor, Doctor of Business Administration, Bahamas. Alamayehu Hailu Gebre, Doctor of Education, Ethiopia. Christabel Alero Odeta, Doctor of Economics, Nigeria. Rosalind Gabor Binzebli, Doctor of Occupational Health and Safety, Risk of Evolution and Control, Malaysia. Lucina Salazar Puerta, Doctor of Education, Educational Administration, Peru. Kerlin Pierre Rock, Doctor of Business Management, Project Management, Haiti. Adnan Adeb Mezer Al Samarmad, Doctor of Science, Health Sciences, Germany. Silvia Godoy Cubilla, Master of Arts, Art History, Paraguay. Bruce Raymond Phillips, Master of Education, South Africa. Elana Erasmus, Master of Education, South Africa. Peter Mawena Pelli, Master of Science, Science, the United Republic of Tanzania. <music> Matias Fatima Gomez, Master of Arts, Project Management, Timor Leste. Rufino Ovan Ondo Ngonga, Master of Science, Information Technology, Equatorial Guinea. Joaquin Bumba, Masters of Science and Engineering, Telecommunications, Angola. Sien Sien Lawrence, Master of Science, Public Health, Nigeria. Martha Olivia Trejo Romero, Master of Education, Educational Psychology, Mexico. Clarissa Lebron Calvan, Master of Education, Education Technologies, Dominican Republic. Mamococho Francina Mocotelli, Master of Project Management, Lesotho. Otoniel saint Inord, Master of Legal Studies, Criminology, Haiti. (laughs) 
Shaban Zakaria, Master of Science, Engineering Management, United Republic of Tanzania. Jonathan Y. Clinton, Masters of Science, Educational Administration, Liberia. Barnawi Walid Ahmed M, Master of Education, English as a Second Language, Saudi Arabia. Abdullahi Ba, Master of Business Administration, Guinea. Sonia Dos Enjos Torrego Emelo Bergamota, Master of Education, Mozambique. Jose Enrique Millet Garcia, Masters, Business Administration, Mexico. Jean-Claude Kezimana, Master of Arts, Social Policies, Burundi. Mark Obeng Ando, Master of Arts, Theology, Ghana. Hope Gertrude Muli, Master of Business Administration, International Relations, Kenya. Wakocha Chidivir Peters, Masters of Science, Public Health, Nigeria. Sony Belizaire, Master of International Relations, Haiti. Andre Gamboa Chiesa, Master of Science, International Business Management, Angola. Ramon Antonio Solano Constanzo, Master of Education, Social Sciences, Dominican Republic. Dumil Fikil Sibanze, Masters of Science, Quality Management Systems, Swaziland. Mario Alexis Moncada Torres, Masters of Science, Coaching Honduras. Antonio Da Silva Feijo Jr., Masters of Science, Strategic Management, Angola. Olutayo Joseph Ogunyemi, Masters of Science, Electrical Engineering, Nigeria. <music> Igor Giovanni de Sousa e Silva, Masters of Science, Business Management, Angola. Vladimir Alcivar Reynoso Chipantiza, Master of Legal Studies, United States. Matthew Saili, Master of Science, Industrial Engineering, Zambia.
Guayasmin Catani Juan Carlos, Master of Science, Project Management, Ecuador. Juan Carlos Mejia Quesada, Bachelor of Business Administration, Dominican Republic. Guart Rosso Arce, Bachelors of Architecture, Design and Construction, Colombia. Don Anciano de la Cruz Montero, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Dominican Republic. Destino Ombian Wema Bindan, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Equatorial Guinea. Nelson Osvaldo Monroy, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Colombia. Eduardo Alejandro Morales Achevedo, Bachelor of Science, Chemical Engineering, Guatemala. Carlos Antonio Villarreal Pinto, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Psychology, Cum Laude, Panamá. Andres Moncayo Romo, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Colombia. Gadiel Simba Efole, Bachelor of Business Administration, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mayerly Cárdenas Vargas, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Colombia. Vilma Suseli Murcia Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition, Honduras. Kune Ameka Daniel, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Nigeria. Rebecca Maria Miguel Simán, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, El Salvador. De Bayou Alfred Adeni, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Nigeria. Enma Yanira Navarro Benitez, Bachelor of Human Resources, El Salvador. Asha Kelai Allison, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Jamaica. Isaac Z.K. Sraku Chirp, Bachelor of Science, Human Resources Management, Liberia. Guy D. Cooper, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, United States. Boja James Simon, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, South Sudan. Wall 
Monijay Ajak, Bachelor of Communications, Psychology, South Sudan. Suham Elia Sara, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Relations, Iraq. Jose Antonio Torreblanca Garcia, Bachelor of International Business, Ecuador. Coselene Mari Orgudo Piedra, Bachelor of Science, English as a Second Language, Ecuador. Mark Minchera Mandare, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Kenya. Hernan Ramiro Pazmiño Perez, Bachelor of Accounting, Ecuador. Bridget Ramdio Pracht, Bachelor of Social and Human Studies, Occupational Therapy, Suriname. Christina Do, Bachelor of Education, Republic of Korea. Osmel Eric Mestre Martinez, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Commerce, Colombia. Mabel Montejo de Orellana, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition, United States. Michael Arthur, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Science, St. Lucia. Daniel Horacio Puyol Castiglioni, Bachelor of Science, Aeronautical Sciences, Panama. Carvin Clarence Howard Rankin, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Cayman Islands. Victor René Aguilar Balcells, Bachelor of Science, Agronomy Engineering, Guatemala. Margil Ornales Marta Nayeli, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition, Mexico. Yogu Nanji, Bachelor of Marketing, South Sudan. Anadis Sanchez Alcantara, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Dominican Republic. Silvana Ramirez Correa, Bachelor, Finance and Business, Argentina. Diego Andres Galvan Triana, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineer, Colombia. Both Pasca Alfred, Bachelor of International Relations, International Relations and Diplomacy, South Sudan. Denise 
Alvarez Ascona, Bachelor's of Business Administration, Marketing, Dominican Republic. Berti Abraham Nguze, Certificate of Management, Financial Management, Ethiopia. Awuzi Osioma Kayosi Sechukwu, Certificate of Science, Health Sciences, Nigeria. Wailin Feliz Ramirez, Doctor of Education, Educational Management and Quality, Dominican Republic. During the past few weeks, we've had the opportunity to do some interviews with some of the most exceptional students in our graduating class. Here are some of the best sound bites. Actualmente estamos en otra era, la era de la tecnología eh, que pasó totalmente de, de, del, de la educación tradicional, sería presencial, a lo virtual. Y en ese sentido, yo digo que IU es, es una de las instituciones eh, líder en este punto. Ok, en el área de las relaciones públicas, eh, mi punto de vista humilde, las empresas para estar a la vanguardia con los cambios a futuro, en primera instancia debe reconocer eh, que ha habido un cambio total y que estamos frente a un mundo cambiante en todas las instancias. Para ello, la empresa y sus colaboradores tendrán que adaptarse a esos cambios, aplicando un aprendizaje constante de actualización y capacitación en áreas generales y también en áreas específicas, eh, como la tecnología digital. La pandemia nos ha, más que todos los países eh, más pequeños, nos ha obligado a hacer ese cambio. Y es a nivel global. Siempre tuve la inquietud de optimizar mi carrera de comunicación social y mi plan de estudio de la licenciatura me ayudó, pero sentía la necesidad de seguir avanzando. Y en ese sentido es que llego, llego y me siento muy afortunada a IU. Y entonces todas esas inquietudes que tenía fueron plasmadas también en un plan de estudio que a su vez se convirtieron en necesidades, en fenómenos que tenía la necesidad de investigar y por ende esas asignaturas que eran mis necesidades profesionales, inquietudes, problemas que afectaban a determinadas comunidades de mi país, eh, inquietudes, situaciones muy propias de la carrera, por ejemplo, que englobaban los medios de comunicación, los grupos, pues vaya usted a ver, se convirtieron en trabajos que no solo expuse aquí en mi país, sino que los llevé a Sudamérica, a México, a países como Brasil, a países como Chile, a países como Perú. Efectivamente, como, como profesional me ha permitido crecer mucho, bastante diría yo, dentro de mi área y mi formación académica porque yo me gradué con mi formación básica es de ingeniero forestal. Hace un poquito más de 25 años que me he graduado, pero en mi país, en Bolivia, no había ninguna carrera, tampoco habían eh, profesionales ambientales en el área y había mucha necesidad y es por ello que yo empecé a hacer eh, varios eh, diplomados, maestría, para finalmente lograr este doctorado en ciencias ambientales que tan gentilmente eh, me ha proporcionado la AIU, ¿no? Entonces es una, una gran oportunidad que yo he tenido, me ha servido de mucho. My area of research was uh, about big data management. My, I was working on novel secure data management framework in social network. The main reason behind this novel idea is that in today's age, most of the people in this world use the social 
media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. These are the main concern of the big data. So these are there are many challenges about the user's data management. So I felt very comfortable at AIU right from the start. There is absolutely no way I could have completed my thesis as painlessly without the help of my advisor, Dr. Franklin Walson. He provided me sound advice and great technical help and very supportive accessible. It's enabled me to share my knowledge because with the credibility of having studied at a level of a doctor, it means that people are asking the question then, you know, it's, it's like it's, it's a bit like it's an invitation to people to, to ask the question, well, what do you know about these children? What do you know about special education? How can we work with them? Open doors for me to share what I know. And of course, I've enhanced what I know because I've done a lot of research to go with it. So seeing what is, is, is really looking at the child to see what exactly is going on for them and how can um, one assist them to smooth their pathway, you know, to help them achieve whatever they can achieve and to reach their highest potential. We know your family has played a very important part in your journey at AIU. Please look around and thank them for their part in this journey. So this we dedicate to you, the family. We all walk with an outer glow Living on our insides, casting shadows The world spinning around again We all know, but we all pretend Earth spinning round again Blood pumping round again You said your name was Billy Joel But you didn't know how to play the piano You fit so off on the beaten road But you kept on traveling to the so-called unknown
And for the final remarks, here is Ricardo Gonzalez, Chief Financial Officer and Vice President at AIU. With your participation today in the virtual graduation ceremony, it is symbolic of your breaking of paradigms. Just like your open learning, online, andragogic program that you navigated successfully at the Atlantic International University. You have shown that you have the determination, the purpose, the vision, and now the capabilities to achieve and define your goals and dreams beyond that of your journey at the university. You have said no, a resounding no, to obstacles, large and small. No, coronavirus. You will not derail our lives. We will find ways to safely continue and indeed to thrive. No, traditional programs. We will not accept your obsolete, irrelevant, impractical learning model. In my experience in business, there is very little difference, if any, between a very high-priced business education and what's available a lot, for a lot less money. I went you and I both do the same thing. We look for industries that are ripe for disruption because they do things the way they've always done them. And I think universities, four-year universities, are doing it. Um, but, uh, but I think also the sort of super tracked dynamics have, um, have gotten us to, to a very bad place where, um, where education has become a substitute for thinking about the future. You know? Well, oftentimes business education today, and I see it all the time, kids come out of college, the best colleges, Wharton and Harvard and Stanford and some of the great business schools, and they'll come out and they won't have practical experience. There's too many case studies that aren't practical. If everything you needed was in that actual business class, <laughs> in that book, there'd be too many successful business people. Right. I mean, if somebody graduated from a great university, that may, be an that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but it's not necessarily the case. Um, you know, if you look at, um, say, people like uh, Bill Gates or Larry Ellison, Steve Jobs, these guys didn't graduate from college. So I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. You don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want. No to those who fail to recognize the need to transform higher education. You have said a resounding no to those who do not recognize that the democratization of knowledge is the greatest gift that technology has so far granted to mankind. You have said no to those who do not view higher education as a human right that needs to be made accessible to the billions who lack access. You have said no to revalidations by departments of education. Your recognition is not necessary. The value of your studies is unalienable. It goes beyond a diploma. It is indeed embedded in the dreams, commitments, and goals that you set for yourself in phase one of your program. It is made real by the course and academic work that you defined for your open curriculum. And yet further, it is affirmed by the faculty and academic advisors of the university who received and evaluated your work and deemed it at or superior to the level. It is self-evident by the monumental accomplishments you have shown and shared with us at the level of your community, country, and the world. In choosing AIU, you also affirm that, yes, I am unique and unrepeatable. Yes, I will apply my gifts to the maximum benefit of humanity. You have said yes to defining your dreams in phase one. 
yes to purposefully defining your courses relevant to you. Yes to becoming a university of one. Completely autonomous and able to adapt and learn new things without the need of any higher learning institution. You have said yes to the AIU pledge. You have said yes to contributing to the UNESCO 2030 goals, the 17 goals that we reviewed in a video conference just a few days ago where all of you graduates were present. And most importantly, you have said yes to your happiness by discovering your dharma, your purpose in life. Wise men say that living your life in that fashion is the key to happiness. Thank you for your contributions to AIU and your commitment to make the world a better place. Happiness and fulfillment through purpose in life. That is what we celebrate here today. In this moment, I can say that to me, this graduation ceremony is the most memorable in AIU's 22-year history. And that's saying something, because we have graduations around the world and in different locations. The images that you have all shared with us today have lit up the event today. They have allowed us access, a window into your lives, into your aspirations, and into what is most important to you. The level of the participation here today is unprecedented. 70 countries are represented in today's graduation ceremony. Students and staff have made this a reality. Thank you to those watching today. Each student outside of AIU is not alone. There are key persons who have allowed the dream and the journey to become a reality. Through technology, this has been possible. The virtual campus where you learned is possible through technology. A platform with 25 tools that have been developed to facilitate the interaction and collaboration between students and staff. And through technology, this very ceremony is possible. Through technology, no microorganism can harm you. By embracing change and having the tools to quickly adapt and learn, you will persevere. Indeed, change is all around us. Yet, questions remain and solutions are yet to be identified. In us, in you, lie the answers and innovations to address these opportunities. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are transforming every industry. The shared economy is challenging what ownership is all about, if it is worthwhile. Does it make sense to have singular ownership? Think of your home for a moment. How many tools, assets, instruments are left unused for 99.9% .9 of the time? The shared economy promises to better distribute those assets and make them more productive from the uh, earth resources that they were derived from. Think now if you drive to work, your vehicle parked outside your office for seven or eight hours. Autonomous driving allows that vehicle to remain in service, to be functional to others, to drive around and allow other people transportation. That would make a tremendous better use and utilization of the resources invested in that asset. The gig economy, independent contractors working around the world 
through platforms such as Fiverr, Upwork, and Freelancer have brought the promise of globalization to individuals. Borders are no longer limiting factors. You must ask yourself, what makes you unique and unrepeatable? What are you an unquestioned expert in? The very best in the world. Your talent is no longer limited. People who are seeking talent are no longer restricted by local pools of people. See CRISPR, Cas9, and zinc finger proteins are revolutionizing DNA sequencing and our innate ability to cut out, replace, and edit, edit our DNA. Biohacking communities have sprouted up. Anyone who wishes to modify their DNA can do so with the tools and knowledge that are publicly available. You can rejuvenate your vision and your retinas by deep red light therapy. Epigenetics allows you to activate genes that are otherwise dormant during your lifetime. We have yet to tap into many of these innovations. These changes promise to extend human life and possibly stop aging. Like the famed Methuselah in the cultures of Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, blockchain applications are permitting security, uh, trans transparency, and communication in applications never before thought of, such as insurance, contracts, supply chain, logistics, energy, and Internet of Things. Robotics in Japan are taking care of the elderly, performing surgeries on thousands of patients every day with more precision than a surgeon's hand. In the European Union, factory robots are being charged tax for the human workers that they are replacing. In New Hampshire, the state of New Hampshire has passed House Bill 1182, the first ever bill that allows flying cars on public roads. It is also known as the Jetson Bill. Energy and utility companies will be rendered obsolete by the growth of the microgrid. The microgrid allows individual homes to harness store and share energy with their neighbors and communities, decentralizing the distribution of energy. Scientists at KIT Energy Centers in Germany have discovered that the groundwater they filter in Germany has enough lithium, 200 milligrams per liter, to supply all of Germany's battery needs of that lithium element. Space seems once again at our grasp. From the 1970s we're finally within reach of colonizing Mars, the Moon, mining space and even space tourism thanks to companies such as Tesla, the ULA, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic. These are indeed exciting times. Our past selves could only dream and marvel at our current state. Yet, extreme inequalities persist. Billions of people on our planet lack the basic access even to human rights. Food, water, shelter, education, security and basic freedoms. Through the past 150 years, capitalism has been the most effective system of lifting the quality of life for every human on this planet. No other system even comes close. 
Yet the next stage of human evolution is in your hands and our hands. Socioeconomic systems will arise due to technological changes and science. And because of the extremes that capitalism has also created. I challenge you to discover them and to define them. Through technology, science, and the better management of Earth's resources, we can end unnecessary human suffering. One such example is the Venus Project. So thank you and continue your dreams, goals, and life with purpose, vision, determination to employ your unique capabilities to their fullest potential. A quote by the 14th Dalai Lama, the key to human happiness lies within our own state of mind. And so too do the primary obstacles to that happiness. So thank you, and may you continue to be blessed. And now some of our staff at AIU want to send their congratulations to the 2020 graduates. Congratulations, graduates of AIU. Your good work in creating new and sustainable paradigms is an inspiration to us, your families, and your communities. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations, AIU students. You did it. Congratulations, AIU graduates, on being disruptive and innovative. Go change the world. Today is your day, class 2020. Congratulations. You did it. We are very proud of you. Felicidades a las graduadas y a los graduados del 2020 por romper paradigmas. No paren de hacerlo. Congratulations to all our students. You have proven to be unique and unrepeatable. Congratulations, graduates. You are one step closer to achieving your goals. Congratulations, AIU graduates. I am sure you're going to make a positive impact in your community and in your country. All the best. Some dreams live on in time forever. Those dreams you want with Do whatever it takes, follow through with the promise I made. Put it all on the line. What I hoped for at last would be mine if I could reach higher. Just for one moment, touch the sky. From that one moment in my life, I'm gonna be stronger. I know that I've tried my very best. I put my spirit to the test. If I could reach some days, I'm meant to be. distance this time sing more the higher I climb that the more I believe all the more that this dream will be mine if I could reach higher just for one moment touch the sky from that one moment in my life, I'm gonna be stronger. I know that I've tried my very best. I put my spirit to the test. If I could reach If I could reach For one moment, touch the sky.
touch the sky from that one moment in my life I'm gonna be stronger and know that I've tried my very best I put my spirit to the test if I could reach higher just for one moment touch the sky from that one moment stronger and know that I've tried my very best I put my spirit to the test if I could reach congratulations to all of the graduates may you always reach for the sky